Hey there, folks. Uh, I just got my digital discovery from Diligent, and this is a pretty cool piece of hardware. Uh, what it basically allows you to do is it has um, uh, a whole series of digital input pins that you can use as logic probes. I'm not sure how many there are. I think it looks it looks like 24. I've opted to add on the high speed um, adapter, and it gives uh, it gives you these uh, twisted cables um, that are supposedly supposed to allow you to do uh, high speed capture with um, with digital. Now, I've been doing most of this on the oscilloscope, and over here you can see. A capture of a communication to a max 7219 and you can you know you're not really seeing the, the scope doesn't really pick up the absolute digital movements you know it's sampling and trying to get there and it gets there pretty well but uh, comp uh, comparing this to something like this on my screen. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, it's obvious that there is a, uh, a definite improvement on the digital side. If I back up and go towards, I've got another capture here. So this is a LED. This is the Mac 7219 captured uh, sending a display. So I was able to capture this, which is operating at 10 megahertz, and uh, this guy, this I2C serial communication, which is happening at 100 kilohertz. And um, although it's it is a little bit tough to navigate in the software, once once you get used to it, I think it's it's good. But um, I was able to capture both signals in the same buffer. And so I've got configured over here, I've got the I2C bus and then some pins directly connected to my um, my uh, my LED matrix for the Max uh, 70, with the Max 7219 uh, on it. So it's really, really cool to be able to see things like this or, you know, even at the high, you know, at 10 megahertz, this kind of uh, detail. I can attempt to try to zoom in here a little bit and maybe we can see some of the, yeah, see, look at that. You can see the aggregate um, pulses as the data is being shunted into that chip. And there's actually four chips in series. So what ends up happening is you've got a, a chip select line that goes high and uh, there's clocking um, that's in here. But essentially, uh, uh, as the data for the the matrix, it's all kind of blown into the matrix at once and on, on a serial line, and it's and it's taking it's accepting it at ten megahertz. It's just about ten megahertz that's going through here. So you can compare this to this, and although this is really nice looking and it, it is pretty good, I think the digital side, the diligent, really gets this digital. Uh, logic well. I just chose to go this route rather than going um, to putting a digital logic analyzer on the uh, on the scope and I'm kind of happy I did. Well that's it for this video. See ya.